This is my first video game pickup since March 19th of this year. Let's get into it. What it is guys, this is your boy King Mike D Games coming at you with another video. And yes, as you've seen by the title, as you've seen by the intro, this is my first pickup video since March. It has been a while. Uh, it's been a crazy time in the world right now. Unfortunately, it's sad to see that the numbers are going back up. But uh, let's just stay positive, take it one day at a time, and I'm just going to dive right into it, all right? So today, these pickups are from Cali Games, and I must say, it felt really good to go back to Cali Games and be able to browse the store. Uh, it was kind of packed in there. Um, you know, everybody's getting back out, and, uh, you know, California opened back up maybe like last week, so everybody's still getting back out there. And um, first thing that caught my eye, I wanted to have another a box set or premium edition of a game and it was yakuza 6 i seen it was for a good good price it was cheaper than i i thought the price was wrong but it was actually right so this is yakuza 6 the song of life the after hours premium edition and as you guys can see right here it comes with two is that shot i wouldn't even call them shot glasses they look like regular glasses they look small right here but i think they're actually bigger than what they are it uh, comes with the art book it comes with the coasters. It comes with these ice cube things right there. So those are make, I guess they make ice cubes that you put inside of your glass. And it comes with a special, it said a special edition type uh, case. I'm guessing, I'm going to assume it's a steel box. I think, maybe, even though it doesn't show steel box right there. It's a steel box. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm not, and I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm not going to open this. Um, I just wanted to have another box set or a premium edition or a box set of a game. Um... I can wait till this game goes down a little more to get the regular version. And if I want to try it, I'll try it out. Honestly, I didn't even play Yakuza 0. Or I might have started it and didn't finish it. So I'm not in a rush to start this, all right? So let's get that out the way. Bam, right there. Next up, I got some games for the original Xbox, the PS2. I got one Switch game as well. You guys know I'm trying to go for that whole a whole set of original Xbox games. There's a ton of them. I think I'm like at 267 original Xbox games. Got a long way to go. So let's jump into the first one I got. And that is uh, Kabuki Warriors. I have, let me tell you, and I'm going to say a disclaimer. A lot of these games I got, except the uh, the Yakuza, are shelf fillers. Now, when I call shelf fillers are basically games I might not play. I just might not play them. I just need to fill my shelf up, and I'm trying to complete a complete uh, Xbox collection. So it's just that's what my shelf fillers are. Now, sometimes every now and then, I might feel like saying, oh, let me try something I've never played before. Let me pop in Kabuki Warriors, and I might do that. But nine times out of ten, I might not play it. I, don't, I, don't, I might not. Who knows? So this is the first one right here, Kabuki Warriors. Next up, we got uh, Stacked uh, with Daniel... Is that Negrunu? Negrunu? I Negrunu. Okay, so it's a poker game. I'm not gonna lie, I suck at uh, any betting games. I, I I don't even gamble. I don't even. I I played a few slot machines in my lifetime, and when I lost, I didn't like the feeling of it, and I stopped. The uh, the only gambling I'll do, I will play some bingo. Believe it or not, people will laugh at me. I will play bingo because bingo's fun. We play bingo as kids, like, but not for we playing for money now. Playing bingo, that's cool to me. So. Uh, stacked. <laughs> All right. Next up, I got here uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Uh, yeah, it's just Avatar: The Last Airbender. I've never played an Avatar game. I think I have a few other Avatar games. Not sure. I think I do. No, I don't actually. I, this might be a first because every time I go to uh any game store now, my collection has gotten so big um, that now I have to look up a game just to make sure I don't have it. And when I typed in Avatar, um, the only Avatar I came up was the uh, James Cameron, the one from the movie Avatar. Uh, that's the only one that came up. So I think this is the first Avatar game in my collection. So good to have that. Next up, another shelf filler. I don't know. I just it's called Brave: The Search for Spirit Dancer. I yeah. Um, no words, uh, just again, a shelf filler. It just looked interesting and it was dirt cheap. When I see these games for cheap, I get them because there's no telling how these games shoot up in price. I can't tell you guys how many times I bought a $4 game, a $5 game that now when I look at it, it's 50 bucks, it's $60. 
you know, it's thirty dollars, but I paid two or three dollars. You just never know. So that's why I'll get a lot of these shelf fillers because they just go up sometimes. You know, there's not always a guarantee, but it does. It happens sometimes. All right. Next up, shout out to Alex Trebek. Uh, Jeopardy. I think I have Je I do have Jeopardy for the original Nintendo. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of happy to have this. This one really looks interactive. It looks like you're on the actual TV show. This looks like it's really, really interactive. So this looks pretty cool. I might, I might try. This is one I might try, but it's by Atari. I don't know. I, I, I might give it a try for sure. It's Alex Trebek, for God's sakes. Come on. And next up is a game that I, I swear, I swear I thought I had a uh, Iron Man game, but I don't. I'm, I'm going to have to look into this. Um, Again, when I typed this in my game collection, it didn't say I had any Iron Man game, and I could have sworn I had one for the 360. Uh, maybe it got stolen. Maybe it was stolen. Um, I think it maybe it might have been stolen a long, long time ago. So I don't have an Iron Man game now, but now I do. So the first Iron Man game, and uh, I remember playing this. It was awesome. And I think I had, you know what? I think I had this for the Xbox 360 when it came out. I think because, you know, a lot of these games, kind of like how now, like when the game comes out, they're going to port it over to the new system. It's going to look better, sound better and everything. So I believe I had this for the original 360. I'm not sure, but I like maybe about 80 percent sure. So Iron Man. Next up. Outlaw Golf Holiday Golf. Now, I've been collecting a lot of these outlaw games. I have the outlaw volleyball. I have another outlaw game. I don't know which one. Um, I know I have another one though, but, uh, I like these games. These games are like equivalent to like NBA street, how it's like, it's not like your typical golf game. It's this extra doubt. So I like stuff like these. I actually will pl probably more than likely play this game right here. Uh, outlaw volleyball is very fun. If you have not played it, definitely give that a try. And next up and last up is, uh, Rico. This is for the Nintendo switch. Uh, what caught my eye is it, it's a first person shooter. Um, the Switch, I think, only has one other first-person shooter, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it might be the, um, Wolfenstein game. The Wolfenstein game might be the, I think that's the other, uh, first-person shooter. Um, now, I'm not gonna lie. I looked at some reviews of this game, and let me tell you guys, reviews can do two things for you. Every time it seems like I see a review of a game, it's always negative, 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 negative. Uh, sometimes somebody will throw a positive in there, but for the most part, it's usually always negative stuff. And sometimes that can detour you from buying the game. I always say, play the game yourself. If you don't like it, then okay, you you were warned. But always play it for yourself. So I've seen a lot of negative reviews. Not a lot, but it looks cool. So I'm going to give it a try tonight, and I might do a video review on this and let you guys know. So uh, that's it, guys. This is it for my pickups for today from Cali Games. This makes 1000 294 games physical games in my collection i want to thank you guys for watching appreciate you guys love you guys peace out